Port Phillip Bay's early history is opening up to the public with the restoration of the colonial South Channel Fort. The tiny island reveals a fascinating past that's been hidden for more than a century. One could be forgiven for thinking this is Queensland or the Pacific, but just 20 minutes out from Portsea, this man-made island in the bay, South Channel Fort, is open for a remarkable step back in time. We'll head down this way first. These 120-year-old tunnels once stored guns and ammunition, later explosives, protecting Melbourne waters, in particular the vital South Channel, during first the gold rush and later war times. And 120 years later, we're still here. That's, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Above, it's even harder to imagine 100 soldiers once lived here in barracks. It's got a great history. With its defence relics, amazing central location and now the restored tunnels, some locals regard South Channel Fort as the bay's own little Alcatraz. It is just 100 metres by 50 wide. It sits out here in the bay, you're surrounded by water. What a brilliant spot. So it's always had that character about it. Now, with the uh, tunnels uh, that are well lit, uh, we can go through them. After a year-long working bee, Parks Victoria hopes the once-hidden history and penguins will appeal. It is a great opportunity. It's there and it is amazing that not many people have been aware of it. Local dive tour operators acknowledging their best-kept secret is out. Basically the only island that you can access in the bay, it's a, it's a beautiful place. Margaret Decker.